I applied and went into the drawing office. Uh, and I was then in there about 18 months. So, uh, was Jerry and, and Barry Bilby. <coughs> Jerry had got a, a great big piece of wall where eventually, after a few weeks, was put a, a big sheet of paper for the whole length of the car to make the layout completely. And on there was put the, the layout for the Healy 100, ah. which was taken from a, a cigarette packet uh, that Jerry had drawn for himself when he was at Technical College. Ah, right. <laughs> and that's where that, that, that design came from. Yeah. You went to the motor show. The, f the firm went to the motor show. Yeah. With this American, American, this sports car, this silver American racing blue. It was with cream, cream and, or uh, ivory. And they came back and they said, "Oh, we got the biggest sword." And it, there was the car, and it was being driven about. It had wire wheels, which was again unusual again, because we. The, Sil the Silverstone had wire wheels and then it went to press wheels, if I remember right. I, can't, I mean, and then it was come round and the lads was, the chaps were saying, oh, we're all right now. We've all got the trembles on a bit, you know, because... The order? Well, I think the order for the ones to go to Pinaferina had finished or was finishing. I don't know. We was taking these. We wasn't making Silverstones then. We was building these cars to go to Pinaferina, Italy, for the Yank Nash Nash engines, and and I think that was coming. To, I can't remember. And then and then suddenly they, the lads come in. They said, "Oh, we got the oh here we Jeff somebody come back from the motor show or something." And, and and then they said, oh, we got the, one of the biggest orders. And ely has gone to see Austin. And it, they said we couldn't have no engines. Unless I made the cars. Oh. And then it become Austin Ealy. One point while I was there, we were doing the modifications for the Healy 100. Putting uh, Le Mans conversions on, uh, and com and then later converting the 106, uh, which we uh, we put on a high high compression head, high advanced distributor, high pressure oil pump, hard bearing shells, heavier clutch. Overdrive, high ratio back axle, uh, and uh, high, high pressure shock absorbers. And sometimes we would convert them to disc brakes. And the engine alone, we used to get about ten and a half hours to do. And you got to go some to do that. Mm. And if, if anybody's engine didn't fire up first time, there was a huge shout went up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if they were American, they call them muscle cars, but we just call them big heelys here. Yeah, it's, it's really a sort of really exciting thing to drive, and um, you have to think carefully when driving it, I always think, because if you get in your modern car, you just change gear and up and down the box and things like that. With a Healy, you change gear carefully and wait a minute so you don't sort of rush it. But it is, it is a fantastic experience. What's it like on hills? Very, it's a very powerful car on um, hills um, because you, you've got a lot of low down power. So it's um, hills and things have absolutely no problem at all. You can storm up hills past anything, sort of thing. So it's it'll keep up with modern traffic. I mean, obviously, drivers, white van men, can probably overtake you on the motorway, but um, but it is um, 
it's a really good sort of strong performance car you know feel you can sort of drop down in top gear and still pull away and you can get up anything i i imagine it's uh the sort of car that attracts a lot of comments yes it does it's um i'm quite elderly and even though i've had it 30 years i was still quite old then but once driving out of from a rally at Coombe Abbey, it was only a child of about six, but he did say, Oh, look, Mum, there's James Bond. <laughs> but I think he was more referring to the car. Fantastic. <laughs>